enter the forklift safely, grab the handle, put your foot on the step, and your other hand on the steering wheel. This allows for three points of contact when you're entering the forklift. Once in the seat, all of the controls on the steering wheel are within fingertip reach. On the left side, you have your directional controls. Forward is up, reverse is down, and neutral in the center. On the right hand side, you have your automotive style signals and headlights. The emergency brake is located on the dash. You can engage the brake in the back position and disengage in the forward position using the hand ratchet style brake. By pressing the green hourglass button, the display will show you a variety of information to assist you in tracking service intervals. On the right side are the cowl mounted controls, which are universal for all Toyota forklifts and are angled to maximize your comfort. Your left control is your lift, center control is your tilt, and right control is your side shifter. The automatic fork leveling button allows the forks to stop at 90 degrees relative to the truck. The accelerator and brake area are designed with lots of room for your safety shoes. On the left side of the steering wheel, you will find the steering column release. On the right side, you have the steering memory, which will allow it to return to your preferred steering wheel height. For access to the battery, you place the steering wheel in the upright position, then release the hood safety latch in the center. Use the handle to open the hood then use the latch to hold the hood in the upright position safely while you are doing your battery check or watering. This particular forklift is fitted with a watering jumper system. Quick connect the main hose, which outputs to tubes that fill the cells. Once the cells are full, the back pressure will stop the water and you can then disconnect your hose. The hood safety latch should be in the closed position keeping the battery safely inside the forklift. When unplugging the connector, do not grab it by the cables, as this could cause them to come loose, which may cause arcing. Toyota's sit-down counterbalance trucks are equipped with an operator present system. If you were to take your weight off the seat, you would hear a warning beep, and the LED will message you to return to operating position. Once back in your seat, the forklift will not move. Shift the forklift into neutral, then back into the drive position to allow you to continue operation of the forklift. On every Toyota forklift, you will find a data plate which will have information such as model number, a unique serial number, attachments in use, the maximum lift height that the mast is capable of, weight of the forklift, minimum and maximum weight of the battery, and maximum amp hour allowed. The operator manual should stay with the forklift at all times. You can reference items in the manual such as safety controls, operator display, troubleshooting, and daily maintenance. When watering your batteries, do a visual inspection to ensure that the terminals are clean and there is no visual damage to the battery. You need to check the floor pedals for wear and tear. Always visually inspect your tires to make sure that they are not showing signs of wear. See that cables are not cut or frayed, which could cause sparking. Inspect all hoses, making sure that there are no visible cracks or leaks. If you have lights, make sure they are in proper working order. You need to check the forks to make sure there are no breaks or cracks. To avoid slips and falls, ensure that the steps are clear of debris. You should look for any visible dents in the body of the truck that may affect its structural integrity. Make sure that the horn works and that the LED screen can easily be read. The data plate should be legible. Check all plugs to make sure that cables are not coming loose. 